In this video, we will compare and understand the similarities and differences between the four neutral strategies in options trading. The eye in condor, eye in butterfly, short strangle and the short straddle. But before getting started, if you love our efforts, do like this video and subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel. Before we begin, let me tell you that this is the 15th episode of this options strategy series. In the previous episodes, we have covered the basic single leg option strategies in detail, compared them and also learned about risk defined strategies also known as spreads. We have also covered neutral strategies like short straddle, short strangle, iron butterfly and iron condor. And if you are watching this video for the first time, you can watch those videos by clicking on this i button right here. In this video, we will not be going into the details of each strategy as we have already covered that. We will compare the four neutral strategies and understand when to use which one. First, let us compare the short straddle strategy and the iron butterfly strategy. These two strategies are very similar to each other. The iron butterfly strategy is the safer version of the short straddle strategy. Short straddle is a two leg neutral strategy. A trader generally deploys short straddle strategy when he expects the market to expire around the current market price. In this strategy, the trader sells a call and a put option of the ATM strike. The iron butterfly strategy is a safer version of the short straddle strategy, where we sell two legs and buy the remaining two legs as our hedge or protection. Just like short straddle, we take this strategy when we think the underlying is going to expire near the current market price. Now we have made detailed videos explaining both these strategies. If you haven't watched those videos, you can watch those videos by clicking on this i button right here. Now let us look at the similarities and differences between these two strategies. First, the similarities. Both strategies are deployed when the underlying is going to expire at the current market price or the ATM levels. You sell ATM calls and ATM puts in both these strategies. Both are net credit strategies, which means you will receive the premium when you deploy these strategies. Now let us look at the differences between these two strategies. Number one, the theta DK is higher in the short straddle strategy as you sell naked calls and naked put options and don't hedge your positions like in the iron butterfly strategy. Number two, the capital requirement of short straddle is 1.3 lakhs and capital requirement for iron butterfly is around 50,000 rupees. Number three, the max loss is unlimited in the short straddle strategy, whereas it is predefined in the iron butterfly strategy. Number four, POP or the probability of profit is higher for short straddle strategy than iron butterfly strategy. Now that you have understood the similarities and the differences between these two strategies, let us understand the similarities and differences between short strangle and the iron condor strategy. These two strategies are also very much similar to each other. The iron condo strategy is the safer version of the short strangle strategy. When the market is trading in a range, one of the trades you can take is the short strangle strategy. Short strangle is a two leg neutral strategy. A trader generally deploys the short strangle strategy when he expects the market to remain in a particular range for the next few days. In this strategy, the trader sells an OTM call and a OTM put option. Normally, a trader sells the call option near the resistance level and sells a put option near a support level as the price tend to remain in that particular range. Iron Condor is a four leg neutral strategy where two legs are sold and two legs are bought. Iron Condors are the safer version of short strangle strategy. You sell two legs and to protect those legs, we buy two legs as our hedge or protection. So just like the short strangle strategy, when the market is moving sideways, you can take an iron condor strategy. Now we have made detailed videos explaining both these strategies. If you haven't seen it, then you can watch it right here. Now let's look at the similarities and the differences between these two strategies. First, similarities. Both strategies are deployed when you expect the market to expire in our range. Number two, in both strategies, you sell OTM calls and OTM puts. Number three, both are net credit strategies, which means you will receive the premium when you deploy these strategies. 
Now let's see the differences between these two strategies. Number one, the theta decay is higher in the short strangle strategy as you sell naked calls and naked put options and don't hedge your positions like in the iron condor strategy. Number two, the capital requirement for short strangle strategy is 1.3 lakhs and capital requirement for iron condor strategy is around 50,000 rupees. Number three, the max loss is unlimited in the short strangle strategy, whereas it is predefined in the iron condor strategy. And number four, POP, that is probability of profit, is higher for short strangle strategy than iron condor strategy. So, guys, this was our video on the similarities and differences between the four neutral strategies. If you love this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Sensible YouTube channel. And finally, share your learnings from this particular video in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.